Wow. Look at the size of it. I like trains. Hello gamers, welcome back to episode 10 of my satisfactory playthrough. As you can see, I'm hooking up some power right now. I messed that one up. I hope you're all doing well. I know it's been a bit of a couple week gap since my last video. I've been addicted to Minecraft again, you see. It's a common occurrence. Oh, but I've been playing Satisfactory. As you can see, I'm cooking up something a little devious. Oh. Yes, it is quite large, as you can see. Yes, finally, the rails. We are getting the rails we deserve. The rails that we ought to have by our birthright. Need I explain to you Manifest Destiny? No. So today I'm hoping to finish up the rail that I've constructed here, which is a ocean rail on the west side of the map. It comes from my base around here, up north, and then back east all the way to here. It also goes down south a little bit, down to the oil fields and past the radar tower down here. So we've got a west side kind of hugging the land going through the water. I'd like to try making a train spiral, which is a bit like a elevator for trains. I think I've never done that before. That would be nice. And then maybe I'll start trying to produce something with these trains. We'll see. But for now, I'm just finishing hooking up all these power lines to power up all the lights. That's looking pretty good, as you can see. Let me turn on the... Ooh, I can zoom in, too. It's hypnotic, isn't it? It's gonna look good when we have trains going through constantly back and forth. Anyway, I've arrived at the junction here, or the turn, rather. Do you have any favorite automation games other than Satisfactory? I've been playing a couple on my phone. But this game still reigns king to me. I know for a lot of people doing really menial tasks like this would make their bones itch. But for me, it's just kind of peaceful. It's like I'm just checking things off a list, making progress. Oh no. I'm also thinking about trying to do some other types of videos. Maybe within Satisfactory, where I just sort of show off a build or do a tutorial or something like that in more short, digestible chunks. I also really like doing challenges, so maybe if I can think of some kind of Satisfactory challenge mode, uh, I might do a different run for that. Alright, maybe it's a little maddening work. Oh, okay, finally we have arrived at the roundabout. Oh, one of my mini roundabouts that I've built. So here I am, finally, over at this train station, which I have yet to name and complete building. But here is where I was also thinking about building the train spiral going up. Because as you can see, the nearby areas have a quite higher elevation than we are down here. But yeah, that is the distance we have covered. Thankfully, I left a train here for me, so I'm going to go ahead and drive back and give you a nice little view of all the rails that I've built and show you the blueprints that I used to build them. Oh, that's the shot. I wanted to have the train just riding just above the water. But here we are now, finally. Coming back home to the main complex. Now you can see I have another type of rail hookup here. And it's another blueprint that I'll show you in a bit. But arriving at the roundabout, if I turn left here, I can make it to the train stations for the base. So let's go ahead and do that. And here we are, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, I should say, gamers and gamettes. 
non binaries. So that's neat and all, but what's the practicality of these trains? What's the zero to 60? Can you have fun with them? I don't know, you tell me, brother. Is this not the most American fun you've ever had? Train circling is the most American pastime as it gets. All right, we're exiting the circle. So now this is the South Railway, which departs right past the saddest power plant. It's looking pretty good, as you can see. If the camera would stop doing that. At the end of this railway here, I'm constructing another roundabout, so I'll show you how I learned to do that thanks to a YouTube video. Have you guys ever had any kind of accident with fireworks? Now, if you're an American, like I am, a true red-blooded, God-fearing, gun-toting American. That's not true, by the way. Uh, but if you are American, then the answer to this question is almost certainly yes. Many, many times. Well, I have a short little story to share about that. So when I was a kid, I was living in Texas. And there was a period of my life where I was living in Texas and we were li out living in the country. And uh, I basically lived right next to a cow field and in the middle of nowhere. I got chased by the cows actually on at least one occasion, but that's a story for another day, I guess. But anyway, it was the 4th of July and we were going out presumably to buy some fireworks that were illegal in our area. I mean, I can't think of any other reason why we'd have to drive so far just for some fireworks, but... So we get there, and I just remember it was this warehouse. Just a warehouse of freaking TNT, like, fucking... This was an ocean nightmare. I mean, you can imagine if one person smoked a cigarette in there, it would create the next freaking wildfire. So we obtained the goods, come back home, and uh, the sun's already down. And we used to do dumb shit all the time. Like, this was our M.O. And my dad was totally for it. Uh, he would, he wanted us to just fuck around and, I guess, find out. And we sure did. So, we used to do things like shooting Roman candles at each other. Which you're definitely not recommended to do, but maybe you've done it before. Uh... It's, you're not even supposed to hold them in your hand and that's the whole premise of shooting them at each other is that you hold them like a little fucking TNT wand a magic sparkler wand and you go and shoot like little you know explosive propellant grenades at your friend just like how we would play airsoft without any eye protection it was finally time to wind it down but I had another firework that I wanted to blow up so I lit that sucker and what I remember happening is it essentially going off prematurely, uh, not in my hand, so to speak, because I, I, it, didn't, didn't, it didn't damage my hand or anything, but it went off right next to my ear, essentially. And I just remember it was like being flashbanged in CSGO, where like your screen turns white and you hear a ringing noise, except the ringing noise lasted for like, 15 to 20 minutes, I swear. I, I remember it was a long time, and I, I remember just hearing people in sort of a muffled, like, Oh, you motherfucker. Listen to me. You, you, you need to go to the hospital. You know, that sort of thing. And uh, eventually, though, thankfully, uh, I did regain my hearing. Although I... Thinking back, I wonder if that has somehow affected my long-term hearing because sometimes people say something to me and I'm just like, what? What'd you say? Like the second like SpongeBob chocolate mummy. What did he say? Chocolate. Can't fucking hear shit. I always assumed it was just because I was slow or something, but maybe it's because my hearing is permanently damaged. Or maybe it's both. There's a lot of times when I think back to my childhood and I have many stories that I could probably share and I just think like, man, I'm glad I got out of that alive. <laughs> or with minimal in injury too, I've never even broken a bone. I still have both of my eyes and all my fingers and toes, so I consider that 
pretty successful. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed my little story time. Only recently have I actually got super into these dad games, is what I call them, where it's like you're basically just working a job instead of playing a game. Uh, this game is more on the game spectrum of dad games, but there's some games where you're just like, like Power Wash Simulator, you know, or like House Flipper, where you just do work when, you know, you could be doing that work and actually getting paid. Okay, finally, I've done one gigantic loop while telling that story, and yeah, it takes probably more than 10 minutes to do that. But we're back, and I'm going to make the roundabout right here. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of t tutorials on how to make roundabouts in this game, but uh, the one I used is by Lucas Bilek. Sorry if I'm saying that wrong, but I'll link the video in the description. So I recommend if you need to solve this problem yourself, going ahead and checking that out. And there is the train loop in all of its glory. And now the railways can be connected just like that. So hook them up here. Set a path signal going in and a block signal coming out like that. And there you have a completed roundabout. All that's left to do is hook up whatever I'm going to hook up to these rails. And I was planning on doing another little train station right here, actually. I think my PC is really starting to feel uh, how many objects I have placed. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? I like trains. But if I want to get somewhere really far really fast and I don't need to carry a bunch of shit there this is still my best way to be honest but look how cool the trains are oh now I can't see them but yeah that is much much faster to just fly over here Oh, I would also like to decorate all these train stations, of course. This is just my rudimentary first building of these stations. The railways, of course, are a little more detailed. But the point is, now I can have a train that automatically goes from here to here to here. I can also have that train drive me and whatever cargo I need. So let's go ahead and turn on that self-driving, why don't we? Just tell it to go everywhere. Be free, little train. Oh, let well, I me mean, hitch a ride though. <laughs> you can see I already told that other train to just endlessly circle around between these two stations. And if the roundabout was done correctly, then None of these trains should ever collide because of all these signals I got. Don't ask me the intricacies of how these signals work. I kind of just place them and uh, pray, which is definitely not what I'd recommend. Alright, so I wanted to show you those blueprints. So the first one I want to show you is the train hookup. So here's what it looks like. Quite a chonker. So you can see a prominent feature is this large hole in the middle and my plan for that was that if I ever need to transport any other resources or liquid down the railway that trains just aren't cutting it or whatever. I can even do a hyper tube here. But yeah, I can transport conveyor belts, hyper tubes, pipes, that sort of thing through here. And up top, of course, on the next layer is the train tracks. Got a little danger sign, because obviously if you're standing here, you're probably about to get fucked. But I have these uh, floor lights that I think look pretty cute. 
course there's ceiling lights to all the powers hooked up in the central pole and uh, yeah we got a roof being suspended on these little metal beams next up is my cheeky little water rails that i have over there too these ones have a nice glass roof two pillars holding up the roof with the lights attached the rails are down here and we have a curved surface so that the water can kind of flow up and make it nice and pretty when you're riding down the rails of course there's little painted beams on the side here just for additional little structure but yeah that one is actually a pretty simple simple blueprint I have no idea what this blueprint is or when I ever made that, but I, I guess I'll build it. Oh, it's a little, yeah, it's a little, that'll be the symbol. All hail the orb. The great floating cog orb of satisfactory. All hail. I've also made little houses for all the <laughs> miners. You can see what it's mining and you have a little door. Usually there's windows. Oh, I don't know why the walls back there are not steel. Negligence, I guess. I just have too much on my brain. I'm sorry, little miner. I won't neglect you any longer. Mwah. And of course over here, these are the copper miner houses. Oh, I should probably go ahead and uh, make these factory zones as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 no. Oh, I am so emotional. I like crack. I'm gonna smoke some crack. Yeah. I also have a shit ton of tickets now because my factories have just been going. Dumping that shit in there. I realize the only thing I really have left to buy is the boombox, so I might as well. Actually, that's a lie. I can buy some of these awards. Let's see. I am both adequate and pretty good. Hey, look at that. Hey, look at us, guys. You know what? We got statues? Yeah, fuck yeah. Yeah, we are pretty good. I mean, I mean, look what we've built together. It's like an empire. We've got 14 gigawatts of power. We got all the iron and shit that we could possibly need. I got a boombox. Oh, yeah. All right. Now, hit him with the turbo base. Isn't that a lovely sight? We've already accomplished so much, and yet we've got so far to go, gamers. Thank you for being on this journey with me. Gobbledy gobbledy goo. Tell that its sculptor, well those passions red, which yet survive, stamped on these lifeless things, the hand that mocked them in the heart that fed. Look upon my works, ye mighty, and despair. Nothing beside remains round the decay of that colossal wreck boundless and bare. The lone and level sand stretcheth far away. God, it's a colossal train spiral. That's right. This is the best way that you can get trains up and down. All right, gentlemen and gentlewomen, I hope you have a great weekend or whenever I upload this rest of your afternoon. And uh, 
stay tuned. Thank you to everyone who's liked, commented, subscribed, watched videos so far. Peace.